how is uh, fatherhood going for you? Enjoying fatherhood? I do enjoy it. Um, it's difficult. Um, it gets easier, though. It's one of those things that gets easier. Um, I had a dog once, and that doesn't get easier. It doesn't. It's harder having a dog, because children develop, and dogs just stay dumb. <laughs> and they never figure it out. Uh -huh. And when you're, have you ever, I don't know if you ever had a dog that's had a medical problem, but you can't get their cooperation when you, they, you need to help them. Because mm -hmm. you can't say to them, you know, you have this problem, you see. Yeah. I had this dog, when I took my dog to the vet the first time, uh, she was, a, I don't know, a year old when I adopted her. And the vet told me, don't let your dog eat dark chocolate. I don't know if you know this, but... I've it, heard this, that yeah. it's, dark chocolate is supposed to be poison to dogs. It kills them. And vets won't explain it further, either. It's like, why does it kill them? Oh, well, just, they die. Like, they won't tell you why. <laughs> like, what do I do if my dog eats dark chocolate? Watch her die or leave the room. <laughs> so... <laughs> but the, the vet did tell me there was one thing you can do which is give your dog hydrogen peroxide. And that foams up in the dog's belly, and then they throw it up with the chocolate. That's what you should know to do that. But uh, you gotta do it quickly before they ingest the chocolate. All right, so I come home like uh, six months later, sure enough, my dog had dark chocolate. I had friends who had stayed over, and they didn't know. They left dark chocolate in low places. Right. <laughs> which is very uh, popular. Here's a good place for this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could put it on this high shelf, right. but I think oh. not. They put it way down. I may be crawling on the floor later. That's right. <laughs> and might not need a snack. So what? So you so come my home dog, and had and your dog eaten it? Eaten a whole big bar of oh dark Polish chocolate. The Polish part doesn't matter, but I like saying Polish chocolate. <laughs> and, uh, and my dog had chocolate on her face, and, and I went, oh my god! And she looked at me like, I was home for an hour alone, what are you gonna, you know, come on. And I was like, you're gonna die! And she's looking at me like, I don't understand English, but I get that you're upset. And, uh, <laughs> and so I'm thinking, I gotta get hydrogen peroxide into this dog, but I don't have any, so I've gotta go to the pharmacy, and she needs to come with me, because there's no time. Right. I'm in New York City, and I take my dog, I put the leash on her, she's like, excited, we're going for a walk! And I'm running, and she's like, this is great for you, you never exercise, and she's just enjoying it. And then we get to the pharmacy, and she's waiting for me when I come out, and I've got a bottle of hydrogen peroxide that I have to make her drink. Yeah. Like, take yourself through that. How do you make a dog, like, you just hear, drink this, <laughs> you know? So I kind of pour a little in her snout, and she goes, <laughs> like that. And so I kind of grab her, and I pour a little more, she, she goes, I think I was pretty clear that I didn't like that. Like, she looks at me like, <laughs> she's trying to figure out what's going on here. And so I get my whole body around her. This dog was 70 pounds. She was like an alligator. Yeah, and if yeah. she didn't want to drink something, she was just thrashing. I'm like, drink it! And at one point, I have her on the end of the leash, and she's looking at me all wet and on the face. And she gives me this look like, I don't know what happened to you, but our thing is over. I'm not into you anymore. I'm a dog. And she starts going, Rrr. she became completely vicious. Rrr. She's trying to bite me, and I'm trying to save her life. Yeah. So I'm literally, I'm punching her in the face <laughs> and splashing this stuff. I'm holding her lip open. I'm going, Terrible. drink that! <laughs> Kicking her in the stomach. <laughs> and people, I look, and there's, there's hundreds of people on the sidewalk just horrified. Yeah, yeah. There's cars stopped, and they're honking at me. <laughs> Leave her alone! She's going to die! I'm like, this is a nightmare. And finally, I got enough in, up her nose and whatever. Right, right. And she was like, dude, uh, just, huh? <laughs> and then she, just like a pump, just boop, 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 and just brown yeah, foam. Yeah. Brown, like she's, like another dog is coming out of her. <laughs> and she made it, but she never liked me after that. She hated me. <laughs> Because from her point of view, I just went nuts. You went nuts. I lost my For no mind. reason. I hate dogs. <laughs> Nigga, dogs are like the slaves of the animal kingdom. Nigga, I know the rest of the animals would be like, oh, sell out, motherfucker. Do anything them two-legged motherfuckers tell you to do. Because a dog just like to say, sit. You know what's up, master? Roll over, eyes are rolling. Fetch the stick. I don't know what you want it for, but fuck it, I'm going to go get it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I can't stand a dog. And I think people that have dogs need a lot of affection. Cause you know when you get home, your dog run up on you. <laughs> Where you been? I miss you like a motherfucker. Let me lick your ass. Come here, let me suck your dick. Here, fuck me in the ass. Look at that. I can't take that much affection. Get the fuck off me. You know what I'm saying? I got two cats. I like cats cause cats are independent like myself. I don't need all that affection, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? Cats don't play that shit. Try and tell a cat to sit. <laughs> Nigga, a cat gonna look at you like, all right, motherfucker. I'm gonna tear these curtains up till you figure out who's running shit around here. Put some food in my motherfucking bowl. <laughs> and my two cats' names are Socks and Shoes. Damn, cause Socks, he's the oldest, nigga. And all four his paws are white, except for the hind one, nigga, is white up to here, like he's from the East Coast, nigga, one leg up. <laughs> and then little Shoes, he's the thug. No, he got issues with shoes in his space. You know, you walk past that motherfucker, nigga, what the fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> anytime, nigga, anytime. You know what I'm saying, Socks, don't be letting them motherfuckers walk all around you, nigga, pull them knives on them. <laughs> and nigga, I don't get all that ha, 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 shit. Nigga, when I come in the door, them motherfuckers don't even flinch. Eating up all my shit, nigga. I'm taking care of them, nigga. Them motherfuckers, I open the door, they be looking like this. <laughs> nigga, it's him. <laughs> Fuck you doing here? We damn near out of water, nigga. Get to work. You know? And so one day I came home, I was feeling kind of down and shit. So I'm sitting down, nigga. And cats, you know, animals can sense when you kind of fucked up. Nigga, they both jumped up on a nigga lap. And he just looked up at me. What's wrong, here? I ain't never seen you like this, man. No, nigga, go on and rub me. You can rub. You know, whatever that shit is, man, you got to let that go, man. Fuck that bitch, man. She wasn't worth it. I didn't like that bitch when you brought her over here. No, that bitch is a night fighter, man. I'm trying to have that bitch out in the day, like, scared the fuck out of me. Let me get two more rubs, nigga, that's enough. Don't, don't last on this shit too long, nigga, you know? Let me just get back to yourself, nigga. And put some food in my motherfucking bowl. I went down to the pound, I got one of those free dogs. Free dog, that's how I say it, too. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that stuff. They say, I, I, she's a rescue. I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? <laughs> Did you jump in a river with your wingtip still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog, you cheap fuck? Isn't that what you did? <laughs> I actually, I did not want to get a rescue dog. I did not want to do that. My girl was all about it. She's like, we should rescue a dog. You want to rescue a dog? I'm like, no, no, I don't. She's like, why not? I go, because I think a lot of the dogs down the pile might be a little fucked in the head. You ever thought about that? Dude, the shelter is not a pet store. That is like Shawshank for a golden retriever. Why don't we just go down to the prison and rescue an inmate and just roll the dice that maybe the guy was wrongly convicted? You out of your mind? Fuck that. I want a brand new 2009 bulldog, all right? I don't want some 1995 half a Labrador where part of its ear chewed off, you know? I gotta put together its backstory. Every time I go to use the toaster, it starts freaking out. Cause his last owner hung him from the ceiling fan every time the Jets didn't cover the over, you know? Dude, that's an animal, man. That thing could kill you. Dude, a rabbit squirrel. How fast the squirrel is. If I was walking home at night, minding my own business, and all of a sudden some squirrel started running at me, by the time I processed, like, is that a rat? Is that mechanical? That thing would be up my leg, taking chunks out of the side of my head. I'd have to tell that story for the rest of my life in a bar. Dude, what happened to the side of your head? A fucking squirrel, all right? Christ, you don't think I'm sensitive? No, I'm not trying to say all those dogs are bad down there, but what if I accidentally get one of those Cujos or old yellers, right? I'm telling you, they love dogs down there so much, you gotta watch out what they tell you. I was down there, there was this one dog, this thing was staring at me so goddamn hard. Maniac looking dog. I'm like, what's up with this dog? She was just like, oh, he was chained to a pallet in a junkyard his entire life. And I'm like, does it have any issues? She's like, he's a little aggressive. <laughs> It's like, well, were you gonna tell me that shit? You just gonna throw at my hatchback? Let me figure it out on the ride home? The thing's pulling out a sharpened toothbrush to stick in my neck. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what if I accidentally get one of those crazy dogs? I get up at two in the morning to take a leak and that is the exact moment its previous owner used to come home shit-faced, beat the crap out of the dog. I have no idea what I'm setting up. I'm sitting there shuffling along in my slippers, trying my robe. 
Meanwhile, the dog's getting all amped up, like, fuck this shit, man. I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen again. It's time to man up. Let's do this on three. One, two, three. Ah! Come flying at me. I'm gonna be laying on the ground in a pool of my own blood. What do they do with the dog? They take him right back down to the pound like some sort of repeat offender. You're gonna see him on the news in like shackles, like shuffling along. We knew you'd be back there. Get me a milk bone. Go fuck yourself. You're gonna wheel him in like Hannibal Lecter with that lampshade around his neck. Anyway, I give all married men the same advice, gay or straight. Get a dog. This dog will love you all the time, but she's not going to. It's real talk. I'm, I, didn't even, I didn't even know about dogs, and my kids got the dog. They brought him home from the shelter, and I didn't even want him. They're like, can we keep him? I said, nope. I said, where'd you even get this dog? They're like, we got him from the shelter. I was like, ew. <laughs> Probably something wrong with him. <laughs> Can't keep him. And then my kids started crying and screaming like the dog had gambling debts. Please, Dad, if you don't let us keep him, they're gonna kill him. I was like, oh. All right, you can keep him. And this dog was a menace. I hated his guts. <laughs> then one night I had smoked a bunch of weed and I was eating a sandwich. And Baba came over. Baba's the dog. He came over and was staring at me. This will make you very uncomfortable if you're just looking at you. Like... <laughs> I had to give him a piece of my sandwich so he'd go away. And that's how we became friends. Now, if you see me walking down the street with Baba, I ain't got no leash or nothing. He walks right next to me. If I, if I stop, he'll stop. And if I go, he'll go. And all my friends are like, yo, Dave, that shit is dope. How you train Baba to do that shit, hmm? I've never trained Baba. <laughs> Just a messy eater. If I drop food and Baba's not around, all I gotta do is call him, Baba! He's a black dude's dog, so he doesn't come right away. He peeks first to see what's going on. <laughs> I gotta tap my foot so he can see the food. Over here, little buddy. And he's like, thanks, Dave. He'll come get it and run off. But he knows all my habits. Like, if he smells weed in the house, he'll be like, nah, this motherfucker's about to eat. And he'll just come running. <laughs> 